What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here, back with another Superior Drummer 3 tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about the grid editor and why I like it better than my DAW's MIDI editor. So I work in Pro Tools. Um, some of you are laughing right now. Some of you are like, yeah, Pro Tools. You know, it's just a DAW. It does what DAWs do. They're all basically the same. Pro Tools, for some reason, was way far behind on the MIDI train. Their MIDI editors, pretty whatever. It used to really suck. Now it's fine. I don't love it. I'm very used to it because I've used it a lot. Uh, recently, I've gotten the chance to use Cubase a little bit, and while it kind of feels like a foreign country to me in a lot of ways, I really liked the MIDI editor. It seemed uh, more intuitive, easier to use. The MIDI grid editor within the sort of DAW within a DAW of Superior Drummer 3 um, really reminds me of that, uh, with one exception that actually makes it incredibly easy to use and just so much easier than just a typical MIDI layout is this thing over here, okay? So normally um, in a MIDI editor, you're working with a piano roll over the left. We've got almost like a drum piano roll, if that makes any sense. Instead of your typical piano roll over here and then the, each of these lines is a note on the piano roll, they're just labeled with the parts of the drum and so you can just add you can just add a note or take it away they're labeled just with the parts of the drum instead of you know having to see these little piano keys having to move it around and try and figure out which just by ear which part of the drum kit you're working with or like memorize a bunch of midi nodes and stuff like that uh, that's just a pain in the ass ain't nobody got time for that instead what we're looking at is um, basically like a scaled down version of that just for the drums. It only has the MIDI nodes that correspond to the pieces of the drum kit within Superior Drummer 3. Boom, how freaking easy is that? First of all, how do we even get to the grid editor? It's real easy, I'm gonna show you. So on any of the three tabs, drums, grooves, or mixer, not in tracker, we've got this spot down here where you drop in the drum grooves, okay? This is where your song is within Superior Drummer 3. Okay, so it's if you've made it from grooves, they're gonna be in these little blocks. All you gotta do is double click it. Boom, you're in the grid editor, just like that. So aside from just being nice, big, friendly, colorful diamonds on a, um, on a background here, just easy to see, easy to hit when you click on them, um, they're sort of color-coded by velocity. The brighter they are or the uh, more opaque, the harder the hits. The more um, see-through they are, the lower the velocity level. So, as you can see, we've got some dynamics going on here. Um, and then down here, we've got an even uh, easier to see dynamic layout, a little more accurate. Obviously, when, when it's color-coded, it's a little hard to see exactly what's going on. But as you select a note here, you also select it down here in the dynamics level. Um, so it's really easy to change up the dynamics of anything. Obviously, here we've got kick and snare going on, just those two. Let's say we want something a little more complicated, okay? A snare is a complicated drum. It's got a lot of different ways you can hit it. It's got a rim. Oh no, where do I find that stuff? Oh, what's this? There's a little carrot. Click the carrot. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at this. Rim shot, side stick, rim only, mid center, edge, flams, roughs, mute, thump. I don't even, I honestly don't know what the thump is. So within the snare drum lane, we have all these sort of sub things that you can do. Um, and then if you add something, let's say we just add a thing, add a hit right here to this mid center, and then we close it up, there it is. It's still in the snare lane, so you can still see it that it's there, but um, then you can just check out exactly what it is, which in this case is a mid center hit which just gets you a slightly different tone. And then that goes for every single part of the kit. Like, let's take a look at the hi-hats. Holy hell, there's like 20 different options for different ways to hit the hi-hat. The hi-hat, of course, is the easily the most complex sound in the drum set. Of course, you don't have to go quite that nuts, but it's good to know that the option is there if you wanna make it really realistic and just go that extra mile to make it just real detailed. Got a couple of real simple but powerful options here. You can have a a cursor, a pointer tool, 
that you can just grab notes and move them around. Um, you can have it snap to the grid. So if you're building a part from scratch, or if you want to uh, modify a preset stock groove, you can do that very easily without worrying about whether or not it's going to be perfectly in time. Um, you can take the snap off if you want it to not be perfectly in time. You can set the grid to whatever you want. Um, whole notes, all the way up to 64th notes, um, as well as in triplet form. <clears throat> then we've got this pencil tool. You can use that to just create notes out of nothingness, out of thin air like a god. And if you hold down the alt button with the pencil tool, it flips it around and then it's an eraser. And then you can delete the crap out of those notes that you just added. Or any notes, really. You can just boop, 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 boop. Probably the only downside that I've found to the MIDI editor is that because it's still a plug-in, you can't use like Control or Command Z to undo certain things that you've done. There is an undo. You just uh, go to the edit and then hit undo. If you make a mistake, it's just a little bit more work to fix it. Now let's say that there is a drum groove that you have played in with your fingers on a keyboard, an electronic drum set, whatever. Okay, let's just uh, use this as an example. I'm gonna make one up on the spot. First try right off the bat, playing with my fingers. Um, I'm not a world-class drummer by any means, but it's not that bad. But it doesn't matter. It's still not great, certainly not perfect. And what I want to do is quantize it. Ready? Bada bing, bada boom. Just like that, one button, perfect quantization. Of course, like I said, it's, it was reasonably cr close. So if it's really far off, you might have a hard time. Luckily, there's the strength uh, slider here for the quantize function, which means that you could quantize it uh, less perfectly, less than 100% if you wanted to. All you got to do is slide the slider back and forth. You can also edit the velocity of everything you've got selected with this velocity slider. As you can see down close to the bottom, um, all of the velocity moves as one, and you can totally 127 the whole thing just by sliding it all the way to the right, and that'll sort of take away all of your dynamics, um, which you might want, um, or you know, some something in between. There's also down here a dynamics wheel. You can literally make your performance more or less dynamic. Um, it sort of takes the hard hits and moves them out a little, moves them up a little bit. Takes the softer hits and moves them down a bit. Or you could flatten it out by turning it to the left. I think the tune track has made it really easy for you to just live inside the plugin for all of your drum needs in between programming, mixing, and editing um, for the MIDI stuff. And really, they've done a good job of making that easy and attractive um, with this MIDI editor that's just uh, super simple to use, very well laid out, uh, visually and intuitively laid out. I'm even considering exporting some of my MIDI drum tracks out of Pro Tools and into Superior Drummer so that I can edit them there just because it's so much easier to use. I know that instinctually you're probably just thinking that you're going to be doing all of your MIDI editing within your DAW and using the built-in MIDI editor, but definitely give it a try if you have Superior Drummer 3. I like it a lot. Um, I'm definitely going to use it a lot more. And uh, yeah, I hope this helped you figure out how to do that. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more reviews and more Superior Drummer 3 tutorials, which you will see in uh, this right here playlist, all of the ones that I've done so far and the ones that I will do in the future. And uh, I'll see you real soon.